What is up, guys? I'm Roman Boss back at it again with a video in the making. <clears throat> I got a PS4 finally, which is weird. It's weird. The timing's weird because just a few days ago was the 10th birthday of the PS4. It's officially 10 years old. So it took me. It took 10 years to finally get one. So. Here we go. And real quick, I've already unboxed this thing and I've already played this thing. But I'm going to time in the unboxing because I do have it recorded. I'm going to play it right now. Keep in mind, I look terrible. I feel terrible in the video because I was extremely tired and I got home late that night. Honestly, I was so drunk on lack of sleep. I'm surprised I made it through the video. So here it is. Hey guys, I'm Verbal Boss coming in real quick. Uh, my PS4 in Glacier White finally showed up. And it's in Japanese. Luckily the console's region locked. Now here's the deal. Um, it just showed up like this. No cardboard box, no nothing. It was just dropped off like this. So I don't know exactly what's in here. I haven't opened it yet, but let's get started. Alright, comes with the original packing. I don't know if it's new, but it's damn near new. Now I gotta open this side of the box. Uh, Dual track is definitely used. Feels quite nice though. I hope the buttons aren't backwards. Uh, I got this, br this looks brand new, it's an earpiece. Uh, brand new charging cable. And HDMI and power. That's cool. I think that's it. Let's look what, see what kind of condition the console's in. Because this is supposedly a used console. And honestly, even though it's small, it is quite heavy. I do like how they put green duct tape on it. Oh, you can peel it off? I might remove that later. Yeah, the console's a little rough. It's got some scuffs on it. Yep, this is my first PS4, so... Looks cool. Well, I will tune in next time and show you what this looks like. Bye. Alright, now that you guys got done watching this video, I bet you have a lot of questions. Boss, why did you get a PS4 <clears throat> over a PS5? And more importantly, why did you get the launch model instead of a Slam or a Pro? And all that will be answered right now. Quitter. Alright, so here's the deal. Why I got this over a Pro and Slam? Well, <clears throat> honestly, between if I had a Slam right here and the launch model here, the only real difference, the only real difference between the two, all right, is the fact. Eh, sorry, I had an itch. The only two, the only difference is between the two consoles is the Slim has an upgraded Wi-Fi card in there to give you better Wi-Fi downloading speeds. Other than that, the console is pretty much exactly ex the same except for outside design. And the PS4 Pro offers you better graphical visuals. It allows you to play your games at a higher resolution, sometimes even in native 4K. I don't really know if it does anything for the frame rate. But I do know for a fact it does make your games visually look better. And it does offer you higher resolution options past 1080p. And even so, the reason why I went with this over the Pro is, one, 
I love the way this thing looks. Honestly, let's get this out of the way. This is probably one of the best looking consoles of all time. Honestly, the simplistic, futuristic design. It just it's just a beautiful console. And I got it in white for one reason only, and that's because I'm a racist. I'm just kidding, I'm not. I got it because the white console, because I didn't know they had matte. Because right here, if you look right here, you can actually remove these and actually swap them out. Apparently, Sony offered these in different colors that you could swap out. But I thought this was going to be a glossy white. And I thought all the black ones came with glossy black plastic, okay? And my biggest problem with Glossy Black Classic is it is a scratch magnet. With white, the scratches are less noticeable unless it's actually dug in there. But black is very noticeable. And that's why I went with this and then it came with a matte deal anyway. So, yeah, plus I think the curves look a lot better in white. I don't know. I think the white console just looks a little bit prettier than the all black console. And as somebody who has the launch PS3 and has had to deal with its scratchy black gloss plastic, I'm glad this is an all matte design, but that was one of the things I was worried about is if it came with a glossy plastic piece, it was going to be a scratch magnet, so I figured if I get white, I would avoid all that together. Because white glossy plastic is... it's hard to see scratches on it versus black glossy plastic. Uh, it's got this... came with this nice controller... <clears throat> I have another one over there in black. That's the... Apparently there's two versions of this. This is the launch model version of the controller. And then the other controller is updated. I really don't know the difference between the two. Other than... I think the thumbsticks were upgraded. So they were a little more durable. And there was a blue light right here. On the... On the touch bar. I even got it complete in box. <clears throat> Shout out to my brother because he actually bought this for me out of nowhere. It surprised me because I was talking about getting one of these after the holidays were over. But there's something unique about this console. Not because it's in glacier white or that it's in really beautiful condition, but because it's a Japanese console. That's not a negative thing. Honestly, if you are going to buy a PlayStation, get it from Japan. They are a lot more affordable. It's going to come with pretty much all the stuff. And the console's in overall better condition. Not trying to shit on Americans or anything. But unless you're a hardcore console gamer, if you're just the casual gamer, Americans just take crappy care of their consoles. They just don't take care of them. And I'm guilty of it to a point. Yes, I don't dust my consoles as there should be. But I've seen some consoles... That are covered in sticky residue, that are covered in soda, crumbs, and everything. It's just terrible. But I got this, this came from Japan, and if you look in the back of the console, there is no dust whatsoever. And the only thing exterior wrong with the console when I unboxed it, it looked like it had pencil on it. But that was easily fixed. Okay, just took a little wet rag and boom. It looks basically like a brand new console. And I'm glad to have the box. And it's, honestly, it doesn't matter which region you get. The PS4 is region free, which I didn't know that. And I thought it was, I was going to run into the problem where the console would have the, the X and the O button switched. Because that's frustrating. But there's actually an option for you to switch it. So... Awesome for that. Controller is in really good shape. It came with all the original packaging, as you can see in the video, and came with the original manuals and the original cords. So honestly, if you're going to get a PlayStation of any kind, I honestly recommend importing it from Japan. I don't know if the PS2 and 3 are region locked. I do know the 4 is not region locked. Same with the Slim and the Pro models. But that brings me to the elephant in the room. If you wanted a PS4, why not go with the Pro? Well, here's the deal. The only thing the Pro would benefit me was in the living room. And I have plans to record gameplay on this PlayStation 4. I plan on making tons of videos for the PlayStation 4. 
there is a problem. How my system is set up, I can only record 1080p resolution. I cannot take advantage of the graphical upgrades that the PS4 has to offer due to my limitations in recording. I have an Elgato HD60, which is a really good capture device, but an old capture device as well. It can only do 1080p at 60 FPS. That is what its max recording can do. So, let me, let me talk about this a little bit. Originally, I wanted a PS4 when the Xbox One and the PS4 came out. I wanted a PS4 over an Xbox One. Because I had a PS3, and I loved my PS3, and I knew that it would be an easier transition. But, you know, when, when you're young, you get the console that your friends and your family have, your gaming buddies have. And all my gaming buddies had an Xbox One. I don't regret asking for an Xbox One for Christmas. I love my Xbox One, and I'm very grateful to get it. But the reason why I got a PS4... In 2023, and that's for one game and one game only, and I have it right here, Uncharted 4. If this was a launch title for the PS4, I would have got it over an Xbox One. Yes, I wouldn't have been able to play with any of my friends, but screw it. If this was a launch title that was launching with the PS4, I would have got it. I would honestly love the Uncharted 4 version of the PS4, but the special editions are expensive. The white and the black, you can find them for identical prices, but the special editions, they're not cheap whatsoever. They're not cheap. And the game, this, honestly, a uh, shout out to Vintage Dog. Black Friday and Cyber Monday is coming up. Don't go to Lukey Games, don't go to DK Oli's, and don't go to GameStop. Go to Vintage Stock. You can buy old and new products. I paid $20 for this. This is the collector's edition. Comes with the box, comes with the steel case copy of the game, and guess what? It even comes with the original, the original Naughty Dog stickers. Not one has been used. And guess what? I didn't know the collector's edition came with this. It comes with the art book. I got everything for $20. I had to pay $5 for shipping because my vintage stock didn't have it, and the closest one they had that was available was in North Texas, up in the Panhandle area. So I paid 20 bucks for the game and then $5 for shipping and tax. So a total, I paid roughly around, with tax and shipping, around $27-ish. But if you can find this, you can pick it up for $20. Literally, in beautiful condition. There's nothing wrong with the box. There's a little bit of scuff right here, but other than that, the box is pretty much flawless. Now, here comes the biggest controversial thing about this console. Why didn't I just get a PS5? The PS5 can play 90% of PS4 games. There's not a game on the PlayStation 5 that makes me want a PlayStation 5. Yes, they have the Uncharted. It has the Uncharted HD collection where it has Uncharted 1, 2, 3, and 4. I don't know if it has the Uncharted for Vita. I do plan on getting a PlayStation Vita for that exclusive game copy of Uncharted. Yeah. That's that's this is the reason why I wanted this so bad. Uh <laughs> But that brings me back to another problem. I can't take advantage of the extra horsepower. Yes, I have it set up in the living room for casual gaming. Yes, I could take advantage of that because I do have a 4K te television that supports HDR, that supports 120 hertz and all that other stuff. But I don't have any capture. I don't have any recording gear that is capable of capturing that. So there's really no point in getting that. Plus, the PS4 is still supported. You can go buy a brand new PS4 Slim at your local Walmart right now. In fact, Sony, if you go to their official website, you can still pick up a PS4 Slim. 
keep in mind it's going to cost you like $300 and it's honestly not worth it because you can find these consoles. I don't know how much my brother paid for I didn't pay anything for this. My brother got this for me as a gift and I'm very grateful for it. Uh, his birthday was actually on the 12th of this month and me and my girlfriend surprised him with, I know this is a PlayStation video, I know this is a PlayStation video, uh, don't criticize me, uh, but we got him the Xbox Series X for his birthday. Because he had the launch 2013 Xbox One, the Kinect, the model that came with the Kinect. And it's showing its age. He's having a hard time playing the new Call of Duty games. And that's that's mostly what he does is he plays the Call of Duty games on it. But hell, honestly, after we plugged that in and we hooked it up to the nice TV and he was playing the Sea of Thieves in 4K HDR with that ray tracing... Oh my gosh, I am jealous. I swear, if I had to have a console, I would buy that console. And I would much rather buy a Series X over a PS5. Because the Series X supports all the backwards compatibility Xbox 360 games on the One, along with the limited original Xbox titles. Now imagine playing an original Xbox title. A great example, The Elder Scrolls III Morrowind. My buddy has had a nightmare time. He has a beast of a computer, probably a more powerful, more powerful than mine, but he has a hard time running Morrowind on it because it's an old game, so he's running into compatibility issues, so he can't record it. But you have an Xbox Series X, you just put it in there and you can record it at 4K 60 frames per second, or in some cases 120 FPS per second. And the game looked beautiful. I never seen more win that good. But that's really why I want the Series X over a PS5 is because of the backwards compatibility with two generations I have great memories with. But yeah, it the Pro, even if I would have got the Pro, I have no way of taking advantage of that because I do plan on making a lot of videos for this console. A lot of videos. I found that this thing has features that my Xbox One doesn't have. Like, you can stream on YouTube. If there's a way to stream from YouTube on your Xbox One, let me know in the comment section and say, Boss, you're an idiot. It's simple. But the only option I've ever found was Twitch. I can only stream to Twitch. And that frustrated me because you can stream to YouTube on this. And I'm honestly done with Twitch. It's a crappy platform. The platform is dying. It treats you like crap. It don't do nothing. Just get off Twitch. Okay, move to something else. I know YouTube's not the greatest thing in the world, but at least their product has quality. You may not like the people running the show, but at least they have quality with their product. But yeah, the... So this is a new addition to my PlayStation collection. Do I probably will get a Slim and a Pro at some point, just for collector's sake. You know, I have to collect them all. But... Yeah, I wanted I wanted this one's particular in Glacier White because the white honestly looks better than the black. And I was worried because they came with the glossy panel as I was talking about earlier. Fortunately, this one didn't come with it, but pretty much all launch models of the black console came with it. And they're all tore up. They're all scratched. Gla black glossy plastic scratch up. White glossy plastic does scratch up, but it's harder to tell. It is much harder to tell. And if you do plan on getting a PS4, now is a good time to get it. The consoles are cheap. Because uh, the the PS4 Pro, I paid about 200 uh, How much did I pay for? I paid $150 for that PS4 Pro that I got from my buddy. It didn't come with everything, but it did come with the original box with matching numbers. And I have done some upgrades to the PS4. I will be getting an SSD for this PS4. Unfortunately... Um, with the holidays coming up, I don't want to spend too much money on myself. I got to make sure I want to make sure everybody else is taken care of first. Okay, I'm not I'm not trying to brag or anything and just say I'm a good person, but that's just my mentality. Is I I need to make sure everybody else is provided for before I can treat myself. Everybody else has to come first. I can come later. Please don't take that out of context. But yeah, if this. Again, if this was a launch title for the PS4, I would have got it because, oh 
I am a diehard Uncharted game. I've played all three Uncharted games on my PS3. I've played all three of them in the span of a week. And the upgrades I've done with this is, as you guys saw in the PS4 Pro video, where I gave my buddy his PS4 Pro back because he had to sell it, um, we upgraded it from a normal laptop mechanical hard drive to a one terabyte SSD, which I do plan on doing this, but this came with a 500 gigabyte hard drive as the box tell. I took that one terabyte hard drive from this PS4 Pro and I put it in here, formatted it, everything, and then I took the 500 gigabyte hard drive. Now this is a little protector box you can put it in. Uh, get it from Amazon. And I just basically put the 500 gigabyte hard drive it came with in here, and now I use it as external storage. So, in total storage I have for this console at the moment, it's about a terabyte and a half, which is honestly not a lot. Because what the PS4 and the Xbox One was the generation where we got games that were massive. Red Dead Redemption is almost 100 gigabytes by itself. That's not including all the updates and the installs and the patches you gotta install once you have the game downloaded so in that total it's probably close to 120 maybe even 120 plus gigabytes so games have gotten severely massive so storage is definitely a big thing and honestly yeah i had a, i didn't want to waste a hard drive i have it right here so the one terabyte hard drive got put in here and the 500 gigabyte that came with this console is in here and i use it for external storage but that's everything that came with the PS4, and I'm glad to have it with the family. Let's bring the family in, guys! We also got a new addition to the family, thanks to my lovely girlfriend. We have a PS1. Not a PS, not a PlayStation, but a PS1. With the screen, guys. With the original screen. Oh my gosh. Look, we even got Crash Bandicoot team racing in there can you believe that so we got a new addition to the family i have one because i had a ps1 like this but it was too far gone it was underwater for a long time and it was completely destroyed and rusted uh my buddy did keep the outside shell of it for collector's sake but yeah we also got the fat model ps2 it's still around uh we got oh, the fat PS3. I'll put it on the PS4. Yeah, the PS4 is more powerful, but this thing's more bigger. How, do, how does that work? And, of course, we got the $10 PlayStation 3 Slim from the flea market. To this day, I've never gotten a better deal on a game console. Now, I am missing some. If you're wondering what happened to the PS3 Super Slam, that was not my console. I had it in there for the video. It was given to me by a friend who was moving. And I gave that console to my sisters, and then I got them a bunch of Lego games because I grew up with Lego games on the 360, so I knew that was something they would enjoy. So I gave it to my two little sisters. So I'm missing a PS3 Super Slim, and then a PlayStation launch model, the gray console, and then a PlayStation 2 Slim. And I'm obviously missing the PlayStation 4 Slim and the Pro. So I'm glad we finally... I do have another game for the PS4 that came with my buddy's console. Uh, he didn't want it because he has a digital copy of the game. So... Yeah, we do look... Look at all that goodness right there. Boom. But I'm very grateful to have all these consoles, and I I am honestly such a blessed human being. I never would have thought at 21 years old I would have the opportunity to have these nice things. These are luxury items. I don't need them. But I'm very grateful that I have them. I'm glad all the hard work that I've done has paid off. I'm very grateful for my friends and family that supported me along this way. And I'm just a grateful human being. I uh, will not take any of this for granted. But... Yeah, just uh, a lot of things are coming to this. I'll probably op have my buddy open it up and replace the thermal paste because, let's be honest, it probably needs it. 
and I will probably try to upgrade it to an SSD, preferably a two terabyte SSD. But that's 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 later on in the future. That's later on. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, please like, comment, subscribe, hit that post notification bell. And just just thank you so much for allowing me to have this opportunity. Um, we got a bunch of big plans coming. Uh, me and my buddy are launching our podcast YouTube channel. We will be streaming the episode tomorrow. And what day is this? Wait, I don't know. I think today is the 18th. So we'll be going live on the 19th. A uh, link to the, the podcast channel will be in the description. And that's something we have been working on for the last few weeks. It's going to be a little rocky because we've never ran a podcast. We don't exactly have all the equipment, but we're making it work. But so far, the hardest part, part is finding the name. Luckily, we, we found a name. And we'll have the channel in joint custody between the both of us. And it's going to be a really fun experience. But yeah, this is the PS4. This is the PS4. I'm glad I have it. We got the family together. I'm very grateful to everything falling apart. I'm very grateful to have this console. And I was lucky because when I got this console, the I guess the PlayStation Tour was running an exclusive deal. So I got all three important Battlefield games. I got Battlefield 4, Battlefield 1, and Battlefield 5 for $15. And Battlefield 4 it was the premium edition. They were having some sort of sale. Because usually they ring anywhere from $40 to $60. So, very lucky to have that. But if you guys enjoyed this video, like, comment, subscribe, hit that post notification bell. Thank you guys for watching. Please share this video. And I will see you guys in the next one. I'm Barrel Boss out. Oh, oh, oh.